Okay, what are we gonna hunt today? What are we gonna hunt today? Let's find out. All right, I think we're gonna hunt some pennies today. So let's see what we got in here. Okay, we got a nice box of circulated cents here. Nothing standing out on the top, but it looks like I do have some nice copper showing on a few of these. So hopefully that's a good sign. All right, let's uh, see what's on the inside of these cent rolls. Intro, take 473. Cue music. Cue coins. All right, awesome. Now pick them up, I'm not rich. Well, pulling out the first 10 rolls, ended up with a 1966 Canadian Ender here. So I figured let's open this one up first and see if there's anything else in this roll with it. So this will be the first roll. Got a Canadian here. Um, so hopefully there will be something else other than just the Canadian in here. So let's lay it out. The Canadian's in the back here. Let's go ahead and grab that off the back. Here we go, 1966 Canadian. That's our first find, the first roll. Nice little Canadian ender there. Let's just flip through here real quick and see if there is anything else in here. Um, I haven't noticed anything yet, so it does not look like there's any friends in the roll. So let me go through this. I will be back if there is anything in here of note, but otherwise, uh, nice ender, nice way to start off the box. I just poured out roll number two. We got a wheat scent. It did not take long to hit our first wheat scent. Hopefully it doesn't take long to hit the second, but let's see what year we got 1952 out of denver nice let me move that over a little bit and yeah nice um all right uh we sent and a canadian first two rolls very cool roll number three for our second wheat set 1946 very cool nice 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 that's a 40s wheat set and our second Wheat scent, fine. Roll number 10, and uh, back here, we ended up with a Canadian, second Canadian. This one is a 1958. How about that? That is a young Elizabeth, Queen Elizabeth there. Very cool. Roll 22, it's been a little slow going, but it looks like I've come across the 1944. Yep, that is a 1944. That was another wheat scent to go up here. That's at three wheat cents. Roll 23, and we fed another 44. This one looks like it's a Denver. Yep, 1944 out of Denver. That's another wheat cent, another 44. Nice. Roll number six, just poured it out back to the back here. I noticed I had a wheat cent right there. All right, let's take a look at it. This one is a, oh, it's a 36. I'm getting some older wheats going here. Very cool, very cool. I believe there is some uh, double dies on that. I'll check that out and uh, we'll let you know if they are there. But otherwise, that is nice. Nice fun uh, find here on uh, roll 26. Roll number 38. Hit another Canadian here. This one is a 1999. That's our third Canadian uh, penny there. Third Canadian cent. Roll number 43, and we have a pretty awesome find here. Hit a 2015. This one has a doubling on the obverse. So this is a double die obverse. You can see it mostly in the 2015 and in the trust here. Um, I think you can maybe see it a little in Liberty in the rest of the birds, but it's pretty much mainly on the right side of the coin here. It's really cool, really awesome find. Um, this matches to DDO number one. Um, the Cherry Pickers Guide stops at uh, 2014, um, or this one probably would be in there in the Cherry Pickers Guide. It might be in the next one when they go up to the uh, later dates and add some more of those. But that is a really cool find. Well, it is time to wrap up here. Now, this box started off pretty strong, but then fizzled out 
pretty much from there. Uh, we did have some, some really cool finds, but uh, a bit light for a full box there. Uh, we had, what, five wheat cents? Uh, 36, so that's nice to get a 30. Three from the 40s and one from the 50s. We hit three Canadians, earliest being in 1958. And, uh, but the, probably the find of the box is the 2015. This is the double die obverse there. Um, it is not the best shape, but it's pretty decent for what it is. You find it in circulation, so you know, it, you, you kind of get what you get when you find them in circulation. But still, pretty cool find. Awesome to get a double die, and uh, 2015 is a pretty nice one to find there. Uh, okay, I've got a few coins over to the side. We're going to check those against the album. I don't know if I'm going to have any upgrades, but we'll find out here in just a second. Book number one, our wheat scent book. No wheat scents uh, upgraded what we have in here. For book number two, I've got one upgrade here. I've got this 1974S. It's really dirty, grimy. This one is a bit more clean, um, more red showing. So I'm going to upgrade that one. That is all for book number two. So for the last... Uh, for book number three, I've got uh, 2022 here I'm going to upgrade. As you can see, this one has just some surface discoloration and spots on it. This one is a much cleaner example. Nice red, uh, shiny example. Should be uh, the last upgrade for this spot here. But that is all for book number three. So there we have the books. We had two spots upgraded, which is uh, better than zero. Um, no finds on the hunt, uh, not not a whole lot of upgrades, but you know, it's gonna happen sometimes. You're gonna get boxes that have a little bit, and then you're gonna get boxes that have a lot. This box had a little bit, sometimes you're gonna get boxes that have nothing in it. But you, you don't know what you're gonna find until you look, and you're not gonna find those uh, nice treasures until you look, like the double die obverse, which is a nice find there. Um, so that is it for this hunt i do hope you enjoyed the video if you did hit that thumbs up helps me out drop a comment down below let me know what you thought thank you very much for watching everyone have a great day and i want to give a very special thank you to all the viewers who have signed up as members thank you very much for going above and beyond to help support the channel i very very much appreciate it if anyone is interested in becoming a member feel free to check out the link below again thank you very much for your support well i do hope you enjoyed the video if you click on that link right there, it'll help me out. And then I have a couple of videos over here that is recommended. So if you would like to watch another one, I would definitely appreciate it. Thank you very much for watching, everyone. Have a great day.